Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about the neurochemistry of motivation. Now it's very simple. When the brain feels that look, this is something which is super important for your survival, what we start doing is we get into action. Because as evolutionary psychologists have said, when we feel that we need to survive, we tend to do things that seem like moving mountains to many, many people. So when we start looking at certain brain neurochemicals which help us, it will help us understand how we can actually organically make our brain work in a manner that is conducive to our self-development and growth. So when we start releasing certain neurochemicals voluntarily in our system, what happens is we are able to determine which way we are going to go ahead. The first neurochemical I'm going to talk to you about is dopamine. You know, any kind of desire that you feel, you know, when you get enthusiastic about work, when you want to make meaning of a situation, whether you want to eat something, whether it's your desire for sex, or even if you want to know how did comets come into being, what is it that makes world economy run? It is basically curiosity. So dopamine is that neurotransmitter which is very, very necessary if we want to fire our brain chemistry in such a way that we are motivated to do things. The next one is norepinephrine, which is actually the brain's version of the adrenaline, that rush that we feel when we do something exciting. You know, when you are very alert, when you want to invest energy into something, that is our norepinephrine free in action. The third is the love hormone or oxytocin. Oxytocin basically produces trust, love and friendship. There are some of us who are able to trust that life is going in a good way and we are going to succeed in spite of challenges. We are able to trust others, we are able to trust our own journey and we trust ourselves. So when we have oxytocin, we cooperate better. We communicate better. Lastly, serotonin. That calm, peaceful chemical that makes us feel that the world is a happy place and that generates satisfaction and contentment each time we do a job, which makes us feel that, wow, this is a job well done. Then we also have endorphins and other neurochemicals which help us relieve stress and pain. Now, when we look at ourselves, what happens is our neurochemistry is not just about our survival, but it's actually the one which makes us feel as though life is beautiful. So when all these neurochemicals are released in a regular basis, where we go is in a state of flow, where we are able to focus well, where we enjoy the work that we do, and our peak performance happens. So from now on, Understand the biochemistry of your brain in simple terms and see which one you want to generate for your peak performance to be visible. I hope this is helpful and have a good day.